First time parents Kate and David Ogg were overjoyed when they learned they were having twins, a boy and a girl. At 26 weeks, both Jamie and Emily Ogg were born. They heard Emily wail as she took her first breath, but Jamie was silent. Welcome to Survivor Archives. Kate and David Ogg from Mooloolaba, Queensland, Australia, rushed to the hospital at 26 weeks pregnant on the 25th of March, 2010. They were entering the delivery room facing premature births by cesarean section. Jamie was born first and two minutes later, Emily followed. As Emily took her first breath, she let out a big wail However, Jamie was silent and the mood in the room changed. Suddenly, there were 20 people surrounding Jamie. He had stopped breathing and his heartbeat was almost gone. And after 20 minutes, they stopped working on him. The doctor sat at the end of Kate's bed and asked the couple if they had picked down a name. When they replied, Jamie, he informed the new parents that there was nothing more they could do to save him. Kate saw her son gasp for air and when she questioned the doctor, he told them there was no use. This part broke my heart. You see, Kate and David had been trying to have kids for years and Kate had an overwhelming feeling of guilt and just wanted to hold her son. So she asked the doctor to pass him her son, unwrapped him and placed him on her bare chest. She then told her husband to remove his shirt and cuddle in close. Jamie was cold to the touch and Kate wanted to warm him up and that small gasp of air was enough for her to not give up on him. Kate and David spent time with Jamie telling him what his name was and that he had a twin that he needed to protect and how much he was wanted and God's mercy and grace was bestowed upon this family when suddenly Jamie gasped and opened his eyes. He was breathing and grabbing his father's finger. In the loving arms of his mother, Jamie began to move and his breathing became stronger. The hospital staff rushed back in and cared for this precious soul and Kate cried in gratitude. If the doctor had taken Jamie away, then he would not have been alive today. In Matthew 5, 7, the Lord says on the Sermon on the Mount, Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Kate and David's compassion for their son resulted in God showing them mercy and bringing their son back to life. Their blessings did not stop there. Jamie had grown up to be a healthy and happy kid with no medical problems. Kate and David were blessed with another son named Charlie who loves to tell the tale of his brother who used to be dead but is now alive and also another beautiful daughter. The Ogg family started a foundation called Miracle Babies Foundation which supports premature and sick newborns and their families. I'll put a link to the foundation below. Now, of course, the medical community has tried to explain away this miracle of God by saying that skin-to-skin -skin contact is what de-stressed the baby from the birthing process and regulated the baby's breathing. And whilst this is an important practice, especially for premature babies, it does not bring babies back to life. That, my friends, would be God. I could not find anything online as to whether the Ogs are Christians or not. I hope they are. But if they are not, my prayer for this family would be that they see the grace and mercy of God in their lives and believe and have faith and be thankful for the sacrifice Jesus made on the cross for our sins so that we may be forgiven of our transgressions and have everlasting life and receive more miracles just like this. With that, I leave you with these encouraging words. Mark 10, 27. With man, this is impossible, but not with God. All things are possible with God. Thanks for watching. So that I can get more miraculous survival stories out to you, I would appreciate it if you liked, commented, and subscribed. And if you're on Facebook, please like, comment, and follow.